Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we are reviewing a new look for the HIMI gouache paints that I adore. These are my old set. It's the jelly set cup design thingamajiggy that everybody has been going on about and reviewing and yeah, we all love it. So mine looks a little beat up because it's more than a year old and you can reactivate these, but they're not as jelly-like, I guess, as the fresh ones. But yeah, I still use this and I still really like it. I think art supplies, when they look a little beat up, they're kind of cool because it means they've been used. But let's have a look. There's a brand new style of those jelly paints and Artex kindly sent me one of these. I'm just going to be totally honest because they just sent them to me, I can be free with my opinion. Um, they come with this little uh, doodad cover to show that they are Artex branding. I think that was always the confusing thing with this HIMI one because Artex sell them, but they were branded HIMI and it was a big confusion between which was theirs. So it's good that they branded it now with their logo and stuff like that because now people know that they're their paints and stuff and I think it looked pretty cool. Very similar, but just branded differently. We're gonna open it up. It comes with this tray again, which is really handy, this palette tray, and it also comes with a little card index of each color, which is handy because, yeah, it's good to know what colors you have, I guess. There's a little art text card design, um, cool, more. A thank you and they have a hashtag artex uh, thing in it oh back to my favorite thing in the world which is these little covers and i'm just gonna get to that in a second because oh what's this i got sent two <laughs> and i'm very excited because even though they're probably the same colors in each one i use a lot of gouache and so i'm very excited to have two packs of it especially with double white okay so it comes in the same style and this is the green packet it's very nice i kind of like the yellow more i think it's more vibrant um but hey if you like this kind of shade of green then it's up it's up for grabs i don't know what i'm saying yeah same exact packaging same doodad i think it is the exact same colors it'd be kind of cool if it was different colors wouldn't it but it's not but it's not okay so now i think i'm just going to open one of these because i'll save one for another time because they're the exact same paints so there's no point of opening both up um so i'm going to go with yellow i think and but yeah this is how the um the green one looks in case you're curious and i'm really happy to have been sent these i'm very lucky i totally am aware of that so thank you artex and let's get into the painting and removing of these. I have learnt my lesson and with these I got a tip ages ago to use a um, hair dryer on these to make this, the paint stick, uh, uh, words, the paint to melt so you can peel it off quite easily and I'm going to do that because I think that is a very clever idea that I never thought. Wow that, that came off real nice. I'm just going to put tissue here to put my, my stuff. Actually, let's see if they come off easily without the hairdryer because... Ooh, this one's... Oh god! Oh god! Oh, why am I so like this? Why am I like this? Ooh, that came off actually pretty easy without the hairdryer. I don't think I need the hairdryer. Ooh! That was a smooth little birth of a jelly paint. Okay. Oh god. But let's not start as we mean to go on. Okay, so I remember the first one taking forever to unpeel all of these, but I think this one is going to be a little bit easier. I love these colours already. I've got to calm down because it, it just seems like I'm I'm trying to oversell, but I'm, I'm genuinely happy about these colours. This one is very bright, so not really that one. I kind of like pastel-y. I think I'm into the pastels a bit these times. These times, mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice orange though. That's nice orange. This is the quality content you guys come for, right? <laughs> oh, another like kind of really bright green. I'm trying to scrape back the paint. Oh, there we go. But now it's kind of on the edge. Oh well. Oh well, just don't touch that, I guess. 
note to self. Oh, this one is a, a kind of uh, an army green. Is that the term? Ka khaki? Khaki? <laughs> khaki green. <laughs> khaki green. Is it khaki? I don't know. I'm talking absolute nonsense now. I apologize, everyone. Let's speed up the process. there we go there is our beautiful um tray of delicious jellies for dessert i mean for painting with i covered myself um yeah so looking at it i do like the colors i just want to compare the colors to the old one so very different colors actually these seem a lot like Ignore the skankiness because obviously these have been used and loved, but they're very dark, like a lot darker tones than this one. So it would be quite cool to use them together. I do miss like some of these darker colors. I think that's very similar. Um, I do like the kind of pastel aesthetic of this one though, which I think kind of suits the, the jelly, the jelly-like aesthetic. But yeah, let's see how I paint with this one. We're going to paint something now. I really put them to the test. I started off with this design by putting down some masking tape because I wanted to do a more um, horizontal image rather than landscape because I felt like it would be better in the way for the uh, design that I had created, the thumbnails I did. I thought I should do this long piece and yeah so I did a little bit of a colour underneath to have something to work on so it's not just like pure white that I'm working on so a colour shines through. I think I could have done that a little bit darker so I continued and uh, yeah I started out being very experimental with these. The first time that I had jelly paints I really painted this um, motel in a kind of a realistic way well, semi-realistic. So now I wanted to draw or paint something rather in kind of with a mood and feel to it. So I'm really leaning more into kind of an impressionistic style. And I think that's really working for me because I really enjoy that. I like these kind of blocky shapes. So you can see here for the clouds in the distance, I'm doing like a really cut out kind of feel to them where they're just like sharp edges that you don't really see on clouds necessarily maybe you do but it's a little bit different to the normal style that i've been going with for my past in my past i'm doing this thing as well where i'm taking away paint but i go over these again so it doesn't really matter but just to add a little bit of texture and depth and i think that it looks really nice like instantly you get a little bit of a feel to this painting I was looking at a lot of reference pictures so what i do is i go on pinterest i said this before but maybe it helps other people out and I create like an art, um, like a board full of different pictures that I find intriguing. And then I go to my sketchbook and I kind of sketch out an idea that incorporates bits of each image that I like. So I'm not painting straight from an image and using someone else's composition, which I have done in the past, which I've realized is a bit not wrong, but you know, it's not like it's not your work if you're just copying straight from a photo. So I'm trying to get better at that and draw my own compositions and just take inspiration from reference images and use them in a way to develop my own kind of compositional work and style and theme. And I think that is really handy um, for the future because, you know, if you're doing comics and stuff, you want to know how to lay out something and try and draw the images that are in your head. So like when I'm picturing a story, I always have the scene in my mind, but then it's really hard to translate that to paper and that sort of um, gap, I'm trying to fill in that gap of like emptiness. So I'm trying to develop that skill of drawing what's in my mind and putting it down on paper because I think that is the one of the handiest tools in your repertoire that you can have when you're an artist is remembering how details look. So if you're looking at something in real life and remembering how that would seem, how that would look on paper is quite difficult. So yes, studying a lot from life is a really good way to help this out and remembering things like little details. Like for instance, if I told you 
can you draw a car? You'd probably be able to draw like the rough estimate of what a car would look like. But then you might not remember like the little seam details in the car or the way the paint shines or little things like that that you might remember if you had studied that car over and over. I think you really get to learn how to draw things from memory when you've studied them quite um, in depth. And if you've drawn something from life you kind of have that imprint in your mind a little bit, like you have that blueprint. So it's really helpful to do stuff like that. So I'm trying to study more of those things and just develop. I think I'm just constantly trying to develop and be better. And I think that's always a good um, thing to do. Like I'm not, I never say that I'm like, oh, that's it, I'm done, I'm, I'm not going to learn anymore, I'm, I'm amazing. I never think I'm going to reach that point. I think I'm just going to always be learning, learning everything that I can and studying and developing my style. And I think that is just what I find exciting about art is the way that it can evolve. So I really feel like this painting that I've done is an evolution of my style from a previous couple of paint paintings that I've done. So if you're new here... Um, you know, you won't know, but um, I've done a lot of these kind of gouache jelly paint studies before of motels and things and setting the scene for my horror comic. But I, I feel like this one is a development of those past pieces because it's very impressionistic compared to what they were. And I think that it really sets a tone and a mood and I think that's really helpful for storytelling. There are a few comics that kind of have this kind of vibe of just... You can tell that the artist is re a really good artist, but there's um, kind of more like a, um, a made up abstract feeling to some of the panels, like they're a bit weird or strange. And I feel like that is really nice in comics sometimes when you just have like a, a feeling to when you're reading it. And I really wanna try and emulate that feeling. And I think I'm getting there slowly. And I think this is cool. Saying that, I really think that I want to do my horror comic with probably pencil and alcohol markers like I did with my previous comic. So <laughs> even though I've done all these studies with this kind of style, I think that I want to do it with that look and feel. And I think that will be the way forward for me. I've been doing a lot of studies in my sketchbook and stuff. I think I will be showing that on my Patreon a little bit more than here because I want to do like a vlog on there and stuff. So I'm not sure. But anyway, that's uh, digressing. And yeah, so I just did some like random smudges in the pool area to symbolize like reflection and maybe there's something deeper in that pool. And I think there's a really cool mood to this piece. Um, it looks like maybe it's there's a storm coming or a storm has come and gone and the rain has been there and the windows are all blurred, but there's people inside that building like because the lights are on and they're shining out. And I just really like this piece. I don't know. It's not technically the best thing I've ever done, but I really like the way it turns out. I think it looks really cool and interesting. And I don't really have that much more to say about it other than, yeah, I've just been pushing my style and developing it a bit. And I would love to know what you guys think of this style. Maybe it's not for you, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm really think that this is what I need to be doing is just experimenting, experimenting, experimenting and finding my myself again in my art. Okay guys, I think that's my final piece because I don't want to overwork it. I usually do this thing where I kind of do too much and then I don't know when to stop so a good point is knowing when to stop and I really like this kind of impressionistic style that I'm really using and looking into doing more these days. And yeah, the paints, they're really good. They're the same, they feel the same as the, the HMI, MI, the old ones, the pink uh, box. And I think they're just different colors. So it's kind of nice if you already own that one. Maybe if you like them, you can get this one because it's kind of a different ray of colors i think it, they felt the same so if you're into them again this is not sponsored but i do really like these paints so oh yeah i like the way that this turned out i'm hoping to do some more smaller ones on this side hopefully um but yeah look i think this is really cool i really enjoy doing this kind of style so yeah that's it
thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more content and i will see you next time bye shout out to all my wonderful patrons you guys are the best but specifically to my youtube peer patrons jacqueline alex christy katie steph and megan aka Megaya. You guys are awesome, thank you for supporting me and if anyone else would like a shout out at the end of my videos or other rewards please check out my Patreon down below.